Hi there and welcome to my class. This class is going to be about drawing with your non-dominant hand. There are several reasons why you should try at least to draw with your non-dominant hand and I'm gonna tell you a few of them. First one, it forces you to think. When you are drawing with your non-dominant hand or writing with your non-dominant hand, you get out of that automatization process. You are forced to think. The second one is that can help you to be more open-minded. You see, studies have shown that we are drawn into picking and favoring things that are uh, on the side of our dominant brain hemisphere. How weird is that? Actually, it's not weird at all. We are doing this without thinking and that can be a little bit tricky when you are thinking that you can go and um, be on the grocery store, for example, and you want to pick from two spaghetti packaging and one is on the left and one is on the right, you are always going to pick the one from the right just because you are hand -righted. And third one that I'm going to tell you is the most important one. This one is about creativity. Hand, uh, hand drawing with your non-dominant hand can help you to actually be more creative. How cute is that? I love this part. So when you draw with your non-dominant hand, what happens is that you make new connection in your brain and your brain actually becomes more creative. You, beca you become more fluent at the drawing and you see the same page or the same shape in various modalities. And that is just gorgeous. So stick with me and I'm gonna see you in the class.